What's going on, everyone? Boss here again. This time we're here for the episode seven of Undead Unluck. Last time we jumped into this zombie town, uh, trying to get this uh, UMA, Uma, Yuma, however you want to say it, spoil. Uh, it made an appearance at the end of the episode, so uh, Andy's right now confronting it. Meanwhile, Fuko and Shen are trying to figure out what to do with these kids, I guess. And they are, they're counting down for them to spoil <laughs> as started. Um, the kids are also uh, counting down to get spoiled, but their, tum their timer is different. So maybe we'll find some kind of solution uh, to solve this problem within that or something else is going on with the kid. Um, we'll see. Um, but so far, it's been pretty pretty fun show. And uh, last episode also, Andy got married to a zombie. So, you know... <laughs> Uh, that's also things that happen. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna get pretty sad, like, cause at the end of all this, the zombie people are gonna die, right? Or go let me heal that girl, cause she's not all the way spoiled. I guess we'll see. Um, so all I'm to do was jump this episode. Oh, uh, dang, we jumped to the. I was like, yeah, where'd the gun come from? But I remember now. Why are you staring at the gun like that? Is he going to use it at some point? Oh, you going? Okay, what's the answer? Oh, flashback. Oh, the lady that um Andy married was there a teacher? Yeah. Dang, so I just attacked and started spoiling everything? So she just escaped? With them? Well, she left them. <laughs> oh yeah, that was what she said to the kids? <laughs> I thought she was going to say I'm going to get help or something. So they've been down there for a week. That's tough. Oh, everybody's sad now. Oh, why is her number so low? I thought her number was high like his. No, I don't see this little, little girl turn into a zombie. Wait, it resets? Hmm? Wait, how do you raise a number? Encourage somebody for the future? Ooh, okay. Don't let him beat him like that, though. Why is he holding the lady? <laughs> Why did he put her down? Ooh. Yeah, he's just f literally flying. Oh yeah, the wedding's not over. <laughs> he threw her. Sensei's kind of a zombie though. No, oh, she recognizes them, right? No, hopefully. Oh, don't eat her. Oh, okay. Oh, unluck. All right. Oh, yeah, touch her? Yeah, of course, he would say that. Oh, yeah? Oh, hug. Oh, she's gonna die then, though. Oh, that's gonna be sad. She probably doesn't get hugged often, too. Which is also sad. This is like a whole bunch of sadness piling up. A long touch, too. 
Oh, he's gonna use his abilities, yeah. Yeah, she's really emotional too, so it's gonna be a big one too, right? What's gonna happen? Is it gonna be another meteor situation? Oh no, not the sunflowers too. Where's that look? Oh, he fell on gunpowder. Okay. Did, did that do it? Yo, oh, she's gone. Oh, not strong enough. All right, get all the zombies to touch Fuko. Oh yeah, come here. <laughs> she playing patty cake with all the zombies. They're like running into her though. <laughs> Stampede. Man, all these zombies, all these people are dying. Well, they're already dead, I guess, because they extend zombies. <laughs> they're literally blowing up now. He got upset. Oh, there's the unluck. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought it was just wind blowing her away. He just ate all the zombies? What is that? They flew off. Oh, he just evolved. Okay, of course. This is my final form. <laughs> of course, it's kind of gross. All right, yeah. Explain. I don't. I, thinking about the future is what makes it reset. Wait. So if you're, well, what was it? What was that? Oh, second phase? Uh oh. Oh, oh, New York. Oh, Shane uses his powers. Are it talks? Oh, okay. It, apocalypse is known. Ooh, they got all hit. Oh. Spoil immediately. Oh. Clothes are starting to spoil. Oh. Can't get close to it. Oh, you can make your le neck long like that? Oh, yeah, thought of something? So things didn't decay before? It just got old? She's okay being close to it. Oh, heart will never spoil. Okay. Okay, so that's how you extend the time. Determination of like your dream. Ah, there it is. I have a dream. And McKay will do well here. <laughs> Ine. What's your dream? Came with a power pole. Oh yeah? So his number goes up like infinitely because he wants to be the greatest of all creation. 
I mean, sure, yeah, that's a big dream, right? <laughs> uh, so the bigger the dream, the more the time extends. Or the harder you believe in it, I don't know. All right, the zombie madness continues. Um, so we learn how to counter counteract the the, the time of the spoil. Um, your dreams. That explains earlier because I was kind of confused. Like, wait, why does she live? <laughs> she just want to get married, but her dream—that's her dream. Um, the bride to be a bride, you know, walk down the aisle. So that's why the teacher was able to. She was kind of half spoiled. I'm guessing it's because. But was it not a big enough dream? Or maybe it doesn't take much to fulfill it. Maybe, I don't know. That could also be possible how feasible it is, but how they'll believe in it. Because Uko and the kids seem to have similar timers, but they seem like they have, they wanted like regular things, like, you know, go on to be normal. Um, the little girl wanted to be a, like a, have a flower shop. Um, and we saw Shen, he was like, Shen. He wanted to have, be the greatest of all <laughs> creation. <laughs> um, so that's a that's a big dream. <laughs> and his number was it seemed like it was going just infinitely high. Um, so we'll see what that entails, I guess, next episode. And he came out with this staff, or not really a staff, but it was like a real pole. pole. Um, so I guess that's what it's going to use because it can't spoil because it's not organic, right? Um, so you just have to be careful that he gets hit. But Andy was also starting to spoil as he got closer. So I don't know. I guess it's because he's still waiting on a timer, right? So that's probably what helps um, Fuko and Andy, you know, to survive. Um, I don't know. Yeah, pretty good stuff. And um, I'm curious to see. I wonder if it's going to conclude next arc or, I mean, next episode or there's going to be more to come. We still have a lot to learn about, you know. It talks. Well, it thinks. I don't know if it was talking to them directly because the mouth was moving. But also, you know, sometimes the anime, the, the big monsters don't mouth them. Um, but they're still talking. But I think... No, it was actually talking to them directly. Yeah. Never mind. Um, yeah, it talks. And it has understanding. And it knows apocalypse. And it knows about quests. And it knows about negators. Um, so, yeah, there's this... Uh, it's the first one, the first mission of the Union, so I don't think we get too much information, but maybe a little little bit to help build the world out for us to like, have clues to where to go, answers we need as viewers and then the characters in the show, too. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, I can't wait to see more. So, until then.